Hello, here I am. I've been meaning to talk about something that has been bothering me quite a lot. And yeah, I already like posted a little series on this on my Instagram. If you want to follow my Instagram, by the way, link is down below. I'm pretty active on there. I already posted like a little series of what I wanted to talk about on there but I felt like I just wanted to make a separate video about it just to express my emotions I think just get it off my chest so I'm not really making this for any particular reason just because I want to talk about it maybe there are people out there who are experiencing this too and can give me a few tips maybe long story short eight years ago I broke my knee because of a bike accident. It wasn't really recovering that well. I had a cast from my ankle till my hip. I was not allowed to bend it or stand on it or anything. And I got like inject injections to keep my blood flow and whatever. And when they removed my cast, my muscles in my legs, leg, my left leg was basically gone. You could basically only see bone. And it was freaking me out so much because it looked disgusting. So I didn't have any muscles in my leg really and I couldn't bend it. So I went to the to physiotherapy. No, first I had to learn how to walk again. Like after those few months that I was lying in bed, I was very scared at first to stand on my leg because I was not allowed to and I didn't have a lot of muscle. So it was quite some process to, you know, get myself work, uh, walking easy, but then I also had to learn how to bend my knee again because obviously my leg had been in a gas cast for quite some time and I just needed to, you know, loosen those muscles up a little bit because I really couldn't bend it. It was just like a stiff leg. It was just like walking like a zombie. So I went to physio and we did like some exercises about my my leg just didn't want to budge. It just didn't, didn't want to bend. Um, which was very frustrating. So I had to go to the hospital again and have a second surgery where they numbed my leg basically and just like bend it slowly um, during surgery and removing some things because there were some things that were causing my left leg not to bend. So I stayed there for a week and then I did some exercises there like on the bike and just like normal walking and it was going all right again. It was going better but they told me that I would never be able to get it further than 90 degrees, which is basically this, like this is my leg, I wouldn't get further than this. So I was just kind of holding on to that, but then I went back to my physiotherapist and with him I could just get it somewhere here, just enough for me to properly bike and just walk up the stairs, because if you have this, you can't really properly walk up the stairs either, if it's like very high stairs and stuff, and biking isn't really that easy either so we managed to like get up here but yeah ever since my leg has been not flexible at all and has blocked me in a lot of way because I'm quite an active person and I like to exercise I like to do things active um, but because of my left leg I can be very limited sometimes and it can be very frustrating to me in December last year I decided that I wanted to start yoga because yoga just looked like because I was exercising and stuff in order to get, get my knee back to flexibility but it wasn't really working out that well I mean I still like exercising and I still do it from time to time but I really wanted to focus on something else that might help get my knee back to normal and uh, my leg back to normal so I started doing yoga because yoga you can you know take it slow and you do some stretches and you do some poses and whatever and you have like flows and you warm up your body properly and I thought that would be the safest way for me to get my left leg back to normal honestly so I started doing that at first I did some basic yoga I did some flowing like things to get your body keep your body warm and some like minor stretches but then after a while that was getting a little bit boring to me because I also just wanted to challenge myself just you know have some nice little challenges to see if you reach your goal and whatever so I wanted to deepen my stretches and I really wanted to get into poses so I started focusing on that but that's when my left leg really bothered me that much it was very frustrating at first for me because I chose yoga just for the reason to keep my um, left leg its flexibility back but it was like holding me back more than ever now because I noticed that it is not flexible at all sometimes it like really really hurt I know um, when it hurt I stopped I didn't go through I like didn't force any stretches or whatever but it can be very very frustrating that like even the slightest of stretch just like makes your muscle spasm and just hurts so much 
and then it just like hit me that the doctors said that I like couldn't bend it more than 90 degrees and I like could it get it up to there that maybe I can't bend it further than that I can't make it more flexible than that and maybe that's just going to be like that my whole life and it was pretty hard for me to wrap my head around it that it's not ever going to maybe not ever going to go back to normal because i am a very active person and i like you know challenging myself and just doing some crazy things and if you can't do that it can be very frustrating and it was really upsetting me i am still doing yoga by the way but i'm taking it slow and i'm just really focusing on a left leg i also bought a foam roller to see if I can really get those muscles loosened up a little bit. I haven't noticed any progress either with that, but I'm just gonna keep going and see how it goes because I really do like yoga, but then it really had hit me that I might be limited my whole life and it's just, I know I find it very hard to deal with that at the moment. Cause then I see people like doing the weirdest things ever and whatever, like I can't even do a roly poly because of my left leg and yeah I don't know that's that's sometimes quite upsetting to me that can't really use my left leg properly I wanted to get more active so I tried jogging again after a very long time I went up to the dunes here in Scheveningen and I just like went running but after a while my left leg just really started to hurt and I wasn't even running for like I don't know half an hour 45 minutes and that's when I get frustrated and I'm like I can't like my body can keep going but just my left leg doesn't let me because it really hurts and I just don't like that feeling of being limited because I've been feeling I'm just I'm going gonna go very deep here and I'm and sorry if this video is gonna be very rambly but I just want to get this off my chest the whole reason why I can't really deal with this is because I've been limited my whole life not only with a left leg but just me and what was going on at home and what I've been experiencing in my personal life. I've been limited my whole life and I feel like this is the one thing that I can't control and like I want to do and then when you can't, it's very upsetting. Like even when I can't run for half an hour because my left leg hurts, I just, I don't know, I, didn't, I, don't, I don't like it, I really don't and I'm really having hard trouble coping with that. That's basically what has been bothering me still and I just want to talk about that the whole being limited is really not my thing. The most annoying thing is I used to run quite often with my little brother as well but I stopped that for a while. Then before I went on holiday last year I had an inflammation in my left leg like right where I had my accident right where I broke my knee like right at that spot and I feel like that really worsened things because I used to run and not get pain in my leg. Sometimes maybe if I, if I overdid it, but not that easy. And then after the inflammation, I just feel like it worsened my knee very much because every little exercise that I do and the little bit that I run, it just hurts quite quickly. And I don't like that. I really don't. Sometimes when I'm walking, I just get like little stings in my um, left leg and it can be very frustrating and when I'm talking about it now I'm getting very frustrated as well I don't know I just I don't really have a whole storyline planned for this video or whatever I just wanted to get this off my chest that is what has been going on sometimes it just gets a little bit much to me for me as well because I've had moments where I'm doing yoga and I'm just like like lifting my left leg a little bit and it starts hurting and then I get so frustrated and I start crying and I'm like why I'm just trying to trying to deal with that I know it will be fine and I know that I should take it easy and that doesn't mean I'm gonna start with yoga because I really love it and I'm really gonna take it slow and maybe continue just the flowings and some light um, stretches again and hopefully maybe in a few years I will start seeing progress but it is really gonna take a few years I think because even if after my accident I couldn't bend my left leg at all and they had to bend it in surgery then it might take a long time to just bend it now by stretches so I think I just need to wrap my head around that fact that it's just gonna take a long time and if it doesn't work at all then you know I just I'll just have to deal with that but I just don't know how yet I guess that is what has been going on in my life you're welcome if you watch this <laughs> if you have a similar problem 
please let me know on how you guys deal with it and maybe have some trip uh, tics, uh, tics and <laughs> tips and tricks i would really love to know and yeah other than that have a nice day and i guess i'll see you guys in another video bye